हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मिस्टर संदीप हियर इन एडवांस मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेसेस इन द चैप्टर ऑफ कंपोजिट मटेरियल्स वी हैव स्टार्टेड अवर डिस्कशन ऑन वेरियस फॉर्मिंग प्रोसेसेस और मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेसेस ऑफ कंपोजिट मटेरियल्स सो इन एनी कंपोजिट मटेरियल मैन्युफैक्चरिंग आवर पर्पस इज टू कंबाइन टू सिस्टम्स दैट इज मैट्रिक्स और इन जनरल इपॉक्सी रेजिन and your reinforcement that is generally a glass fiber or various fibers so as per our discussion in previous sessions we have discussed the hand layer process spray layer process filament winding process and resin transfer molding process for composite material manufacturing so for manufacturing for manufacturing of composite material you can choose any process as per your requirement so in today's session also we are going to discuss on various processes for composite material manufacturing so as per our discussion today we are going to discuss various process for combination of the resin material or say epoxy resin material and your reinforcement so with help of certain mechanism you can make your composite material so here i mention one process for composite material manufacturing that is pultrusion process so in the pultrusion process it is a generally combination of two terms that is a pull and extrusion so you can uh, pronounce it this process as a pull and extrusion that is pultrusion process so in the pultrusion process what happens or say how can you make your composite material so in the pultrusion process here as per our discussion i mentioned the view for the composite material manufacturing that is for pultrusion process so in the pultrusion process as per our discussion some pulling mechanism is there and what happens in extrusion through some die when your material will be passed what happens your material will be uh, coming out as per the shape of your die right so this process is nothing but extrusion process so similar kind of here our purpose is to make a composite material so here from various reels your reinforcement is provided or continuously fed through the rollers so through the roller and by continuous feeding you can feed your reinforcement or say glass roving or say glass strand or any reinforcement material through continuous rotation of rollers so here one important component is reinforcement so you can provide the reel of reinforcement by continuous feeding through the roller and this reinforcement wire or reel can be passed through the resin material so when this resin material or say when your reinforcement will be passed through the resin material your resin will be coated over your reinforcement or say your fiber so your epoxy resin will be coated on your fibrous material that is reinforcement so after providing the heat or say after passing this reinforcement wire with the resin into the high temperature or say elevated temperature zone what happens your resin will be settled down and finally your composite material can be made so here dies can be used or say this wire can be passed through the die and according to the shape of die you can make your hollow component for your composite material so this wire can be pulled with help of the die or through the die and as per the shape of the die you can form your final composite material so this is how the pultrusion process can be done so for your better understanding as per our discussion here pultrusion process first of all you have to provide your reinforcement through the continuous rollers and this wire can be passed through the resin and after that this all wires can be passed through some die or through some perfect opening as per your requirement so through the die this wire can be pulled with some extreme forces and 
after passing through the elevated temperature zone or say heating zone your final material can be ready and you can cut your material as per your requirement shape so this is how a generally pulverization process <coughs> can be done so as per our discussion pulling force is very important so here you have to pull your material or you have to pull your wire through some mechanism and this wire can be passed through the die so this is how you can make your composite material as per our discussion this process is very important for any hollow composite material section manufacturing so here you have to provide your reinforcement as well as you have to provide the pulling force because your wire uh, can be made or so your wire can be passed through the die so you have to provide some pulling force through the die and this die can be made of very hard material like carbide and so right so your material can be passed through the die and according to the die shape your final material can be settled or final composite section can be made after curing at elevated temperature so this is how this filtration process can be done so the main advantage of this process is you can make a hollow component of your composite material very easy process right so this is very easy process and this process it can be very accurate for your hollow section making so uh, for composite material uh, you can go for the vacuum uh, technique also so this process is a vacuum bagging process so in the vacuum bagging as per the name here vacuum will be provided or vacuum can be drawn through some bag and you can make your composite laminate or say you can cure your composite la uh, laminate or material so how can we do or say how can we apply the vacuum so here i mentioned the very important view that is very simple view for vacuum bagging process so as per our discussion what happens first of all you have to put your composite material that is combination of reinforcement and your epoxy so your laminate or say your composite material can be put on the table so one bag one bag can be formed that is generally made of a high strength material of plastic so you can go for the thermo setting as well as thermo plastic so this vacuum bag can be made and your composite material can be put inside this vacuum bag so what happens when you switch on the vacuum or when you draw the vacuum what happens all the air present inside the bag will be drawn out and due to this what happens a small voids and air and various traps that is in between of your reinforcement and your epoxy can be drawn or say can be removed and your final composite can be made that is without air or without any bubble or any trap so you can easily make this composite very strength or say you can provide the strength to your composite material by removing the excess air or some cavities or voids in between the epoxies so sometimes what happens during the manufacturing of composite material there will be some trapping of the air or gas or say some void or say some air particles or bubbles can be present in into the uh, your composite material manufacturing or say during the composite material manufacturing so inside this a uh, composite material cross section your purpose is to remove this type of extra voids and air presence so you can use this technique so once again i repeat you have to make the bag and you have to put your composite material inside the bag and after that you can draw the vacuum for easily manufacturing or say for easily curing of your composite material so as per our discussion here i mentioned the vacuum bagging process so here first of all you have to um, make one bag that is a, uh, known as a vacuum bag you can put your composite inside the vacuum bag you can uh, join your vacuum pipe and after that when you are drawing the vacuum all the air and voids or say extra passages will be coming out or so will be drawn through the vacuum 
right? So any extra corner passages, air pockets will be drawn with help of this vacuum. So here for your information I mentioned in this video how we can draw the vacuum and how we can make a composite material. So this is how you can uh, provide the vacuum and you can make your composite in very strength manner or say you can provide a strength and make a proper laminate composite material. So as per our discussion I mentioned all the steps for your vacuum bagging. So vacuum bagging is very important for any composite material manufacturing. So after any manufacturing of say for example you can make your composite with help of hand layer but after hand laying you have to do this vacuum bagging for proper composite lamination right so this is how we can use this process so after that here i mentioned the process of vacuum infusion or say resin film infusion so this process is uh, having a similar concept of vacuum bagging so as per our discussion in vacuum bagging what we are doing is to draw the vacuum and to remove all the air pockets and we can make a proper laminate or a proper composite. So similar step is followed here but here your resin material can be drawn inside with help of some mechanism. So here first of all you have to put your reinforcement layer inside the bag and after that as per our similar step you can draw all the ads or so you can provide the vacuum inside the bag after that what happens you can attach uh, one pipe to provide the resin inside this bag so that resin can be drawn inside and this resin can be sprayed evenly over the reinforcement and this is how you can finally make your composite material so that's why this process is known as a resin film infusion it means resin can be taken inside your bag or say resin can be infused inside your bag right so that's how we can do the resin infusion so here one second i repeat all the steps first of all from this figure uh, we are very familiar with the steps. So first of all, you have to provide the vacuum or you can draw your vacuum. And after that, you have to provide your epoxy resin liquid inside the bag. So inside the bag, first of all, you have to put your reinforcement or say your reinforcement or fiber layer inside the bag, right? After that, you can add your resin, right? So how can we make or this composite material with help of this resin infusion so with help of this vacuum pump and by attaching the vacuum pipe you can draw all the air or so you can provide the vacuum inside the bag after that as per our discussion resin can be added inside the bag with help of one pipe so resin is ready to be infused inside the system so in this vessel resin or epoxy resin liquid is filled so one pipe can be attached uh, for drawing your epoxy resin inside the bag. So pipe can be attached to your bag. So after that what happens when you open the trap or so when you open your valve what happens your resin can be drawn inside your composite or say inside your reinforcement layer or bag. So this is how we can combine both the things that is your reinforcement and your resin. So this is how you can make the composite and this is how your composite material looks like. Right? So resin film infusion process is an extension of vacuum bagging in which vacuum is provided as well as resin can be uh, taken inwards and you can make your composite material. So this is how we can follow the process for your material or composite material manufacturing through the resin fill infusion process. So this is all about the various manufacturing of composite materials or say techniques for composite material manufacturing. Thank you all of you.